morning. Welcome back to the channel. I have a final exam to take this good morning um, and I don't really want to do it, <laughs> but I have to do it. So um, I basically just had to take almost everything off of my, they're probably gonna ask me to take more stuff off of my desk because for this exam, like someone watches you write it so that you don't cheat. Um, I mean, not that you can really cheat too much on like an English exam anyway, but yeah, I'm probably gonna have to move some more stuff. So that starts in about 20 minutes, but after that, it is a three hour exam, but I still have a lot to get done after I'm done writing it. So I just thought we could hang out, have a productive day together. Um, I just woke up, took it really easy this morning. I don't typically like studying very much for exams in general, but also not on the day of the exam. I'm just like, I'm good to go. I'm ready. I just want to start writing it and get it over with. Kind of just relaxed and cleaned up the apartment a bit. Did all of that big pile of laundry and the exam this morning is on, um, it's for my Indigenous Lit in Canada course. So this is it. This is the last thing. And then I'm done that course. And last week I finished up my Latin American Lit course. So I had my exam for that last week. So I feel pretty good about that one, my marks are already in, so all good. But this one, um, I don't know if this one's gonna be harder. It is a third year course actually, whereas everything else is fourth year. I just needed one more third year course, but there's a lot of like small pieces and small poems and texts and essays and like only two big novels in this course. So it's a lot more to like keep track of. I am just gonna go sit, write this, Wish me luck and then I will catch you in three hours. I'm not thinking it's gonna take me three hours, so hopefully a little bit less than that, but yeah. Okay, I will see you on the other side. Tell me why I thought my exam was at 11.30 a.m. Tell me, tell me why I scheduled it for 11.30 p.m. I went to log on and enter my session and it said starts in 12 hours. I'm just so dumb about some things. I think when I scheduled it, I must have been like, oh, 11.30 p.m. That's in the morning. No, 12 p.m. is in the morning afternoon. This is why, this is why we should use 24 hour clocks. This is why. And now I'm like, if I can't find another time today, I'm just gonna do it at 11.30 p.m. because I wanna get this over with. But like 11.30 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. Like they, who, why? Okay, five, th I'm like checking every single time, but nothing is coming up. I'm upset, I'm upset spaghetti. Well, tom what time is qualifying tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, but what time in the morning? I can't miss Formula One. I have to schedule my exam around that. Actually, I can't believe I've done this, but I'm, I'm so upset. I also wanted to hop on here and thank Clean My Mac for sponsoring today's video. If you need a quick one-click solution to cleaning your Mac, to getting it up and running like new again, then Clean My Mac is the app for you. It is so easy. It is literally just one press, one click of a button and Clean My Mac does everything for you. Am I gonna go heat up my lunch over an open fire and take all that time? No, I'm gonna press one button. And I only wanna press one button to clean my Mac. Even better, the app is notarized by Apple, which means Apple has checked out Clean My Mac, looked at it and said that it's completely safe to use. If your Mac is so messy, it barely works. If your downloads folder is like absolute chaos to look at. And there's one button for those of us who are pressed for time. Their smart scan feature does a cleanup, a malware removal, and a speed up all in one combo. I hate scrolling through and going through every single file on my Mac. If I can just do it with one click, it saves me literally so much time. I've used Clean My Mac before in the past, years before I ever started my YouTube channel. And it only takes about two minutes to polish up even a dead slow Mac. So if you just want an easy one click tool to get your Mac running like new, then Clean My Mac is the app for complete Mac care. You can click the link in my description to download a free version and try it free for seven days. Okay, so ultimately I decided to reschedule my exam. It's like an hour later and I've got it all figured out now. So I'm just gonna do it next week at pretty much the same time. I was just like, I really thought about doing it tonight, but 
I think I'm just gonna be way too fatigued and I'm just like, I'm gonna wanna go to bed. Like who wants to start an exam at 11.30? I wanna be asleep or like almost asleep. Pretty disappointed about that because I just wanted to get it over with and like have that course done and like just keep ticking off these courses because I'm really looking forward to freedom. But I guess it's only a week away and I probably like, I felt ready to write it today. So I don't know if I'll do any additional studying, but I do have a little bit of like a skincare beauty haul update for you. I feel like you have, you literally must wait like sometimes a year for these updates. I'm so sorry, I do them so infrequently. But I went, I actually just got back from my parents' house yesterday. I got the train back yesterday because I was in town for a couple of doctor's appointments. But while I was there, um, I did pick up a few things that came for me so first of all let me just tell you the products that i finished using typically when i finish like one or two products i'll be like okay now i can like kind of go out and try something different so the first one that i finished the whole thing of is the glow recipe watermelon bright toner it's the pha bha pore tight toner this one i bought in october and i don't think i ever updated you on it i really like this um, maybe not really liked it. I liked it. I gave it like a three, three and a half star. Um, first of all, the bottle though, the bottles from Glow are just so beautiful and nice to hold and it smells so good. Like it smells like fresh, sweet watermelon. thought the toner was okay. I don't think it's the best toner I've ever tried. So I think I might just go back to what I was using before, which was the rice toner from I'm From. So I might reorder that, but I did get something else to try in the meantime. So I finished this. I won't be like repurchasing immediately but i will like i'm open to trying more stuff from glow and then the one that i didn't finish completely but that i didn't like basically at all was the simple micellar cleansing water this one was like good because it was really inexpensive but it honestly just left my skin feeling really sticky which i don't think it was supposed to do that's the one i also almost finished i'll try to use up the rest of this just to like remove any makeup and stuff but i was really not super in love with this i don't like how it felt on my skin how it left my skin after i used it yeah i just didn't really like it so that's my like little skincare update but i do have a couple new products to show you i'm excited i love doing lifestyle stuff with you too on this channel i feel like we should do it more often let me know yeah let me know if you'd like that or not so i picked up two products from this brand i've never tried before but i saw that they had really good reviews um so it's grace and stella is the brand like i'm in these cute cute like ombre pink packaging so i got the rose spray and the eye mask so i've actually already used the rose spray but i haven't opened the eye masks but this is like big this is a lot bigger than i was expecting it to be I love skincare. I love skincare so much more than makeup. I hardly own any makeup. I'm just really a skincare kind of person. I just think it's so calming. It really sets my day. It really closes off my day. Um, so the rose spray is just a rose water like facial spray and you can spray it on like four to five pumps whenever you want. When you wake up in the morning, you can do it before and after makeup, which is really nice. Yeah, it's just so, it's so hydrating and it smells. Oh my God, it smells so good. I haven't put any on yet today. It reminds me of like elderly ladies. It reminds me a little bit of my grandma. I don't know if my grandma uses rose water. Maybe she did. This one I have not yet cracked open. I think I got their blue like eye masks. I've never tried the, um, like they're just the stick on adhesive ones that you leave on for, how long do you leave this on for? 20, 15 to 20 minutes. It's like a decent amount of masks in there. <gasps> okay, so they look like this. And then they're sparkly, they're blue and sparkly, and then you obviously just put them under your eye. I will let you know how this goes. This one, these, um, these ones are specifically hydrating and soothing. So the two things that I got from Grace and Stella. But then because I ran out of my toner, I wanted to try, I don't know if this is actually a toner. Maybe you can kind of use it as a toner, I'm not sure. A skincare brand that I love and I use there what do i use what do i have from them i have their moisturizer which i use and i have their glow serum it's beauty of joseon i 
love, love. I might just start transfer. I'm like slowly kind of transferring everything over to at least Korean skincare, but I really like Beauty of Chosun. So I got like the mini um, ginseng essence water just to try it. I think this is the travel size. It's like, it's quite small, <gasps> but it's cute. This just has ginseng root water and niacinamide. That, this might just replace this for a little bit. I don't know. I might just go back to the skin, uh, the rice, the rice water cleanser, but we shall see. So that is my little skincare update. And then as for makeup, I got a few new pieces of makeup because first of all, I realized that everything is like expiring. I only own one eyeshadow palette. Like I only own one of everything essentially, but I bought like my big eyeshadow palette two or three years ago now. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should actually follow the best before date because why not? Why should we not do that? I wanted to get something a lot smaller though because there's no way I can go through a big eyeshadow palette. I really, like I'm not, I don't really wear eyeshadow that much. It's really only when I film a sit down video and like I just want to try a new look or something. So I also got, I think these are all South Korean brands as well. But for the eyeshadow palette, I got this one. This, oh, I need it. this one is by the brand Roma. I think it's just called Roma. Um, and it's so cute. They have all of their, they have a bunch of these, but each eyeshadow palette is like based on the colors of a different garden scheme. So I got the Rosebud Garden, um, and this is called, it's called the Better Than palette. And then mine's number three, the Rosebud Garden. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. She's so pretty. Like all the colors. I wanted one that had um, a couple of these like sparkly ones. So that is my new eyeshadow palette. I just wanted one that was small. I didn't want a lot of colors. I just kind of wanted some neutral pinky sparklies. And then I can just like take it with me traveling wherever as well because it's tiny. And then I wasn't gonna get anything else, but I saw this Peach C. I think the, is it, the brand is Beauty by Peach. And then this is called the Peach C. It's just like setting powder. Um, it's Honey Peach Glow Cushion, and then I just got the shade Beige. God, I really just, just the pack, just the, just the art of it all. Oh, I have all, I always wanted one of these when I was little. Wait, is that the powder? Guys, I've never owned one of these. Is this correct? Oh, this is fun. How are you doing today? <laughs> My day has been completely derailed. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really good. My day has been completely derailed because I thought I was gonna be writing an exam for three hours, but I guess not. I think it's just supposed to, you know what? Don't listen to me. I really have no idea. I really have no idea about anything. I will ask Carolyn. So those are the two makeup. Oh no, wait, I got one more makeup product. I got, I'm scared of red lipstick, like, horrified by it because I always mess up. So I got a lip tint instead. This is also a Korean brand. I got the new knee. It's also very tiny and cute. Um, lip oil. This one is in the shade Apple Plum. And then it's like voluming and tinting, but yeah. It's just a like tint. And this is like so, so much easier to apply than just like very frighteningly matte red lipstick, which I will just always mess up. So this has been good. I've already used it and I really, really I actually have some new not expired products, which is great. And I'm gonna go recycle my these. I'm gonna try to finish using this today actually, but yeah. Thank you for coming along on my little mini makeup, skincare, beauty haul update. Um, what am I gonna do right now? I'm gonna get started on some school stuff because I still have a couple courses whose coursework I actually need to finish.
Okay, so for lunch, I got one of my favorite bagel sandwiches from Rustic. I really, really like it. And then I just thought I would get an oat latte as well because they have really good oat lattes. So I'm gonna take a break, eat this, and then I have been watching um, Olivia's vlog from, oh, oh my God, from Olivia Reads a Latte. I love, 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 love her channel. Love her, so yes. I just finished my bagel sandwich. It was delightful. I also set a little trap for Kelsifer on, is he gonna lay down? Ladies and gentlemen, we have him. <laughs> he looks like such a big loaf. He's been looking so large to me recently, but he has a vet appointment in a couple of weeks. So they'll tell me if he's just, you know, a big, big cat or if he's getting a little too floofy. Anyway, uh, the next thing on my to-do list for today is to pick an essay topic. Um, this is gonna be my last Shakespeare essay for the course. So I have this big essay to do and then I have the final exam next week. The essay question that I wanted to go with was the one about the, uh, what is it? It says, some of Shakespeare's central characters anticipate the exile or outsider figure of 20th century literature. Examine the role of the exile, outsider, or pariah in two of the plays. I'm thinking I want to do that question. There's also one on cross-dressing. There's one on the play within the play. And then there's one on like the marriage of true minds. You already know what I'm about to hold up. I really want to write on Hamlet. I really, really want to write on Hamlet. I think the exile or pariah or uh, what was the other word? Outsider. I think it would be Hamlet himself. I think I would make a case for Hamlet himself. I mean, he becomes so isolated, so outside, like he takes himself, like he literally takes himself outside of himself. And also because Hamlet is like a play about the crisis of thinking, about the dangers of thinking, about being so caught up in thinking. Like I think it's his thoughts, literally like his ability to think much more than any other character in the play, which makes him kind of an exile. Like he's not too much in the midst of everything going on because he's removed himself. So I don't know, but uh, I'm like, what other play, what other like potential, like it doesn't have to be like obviously the 20th century, the exile figure, the outsider figure, because this is Renaissance lit. But what other play, like the thing is that I want to write on my favorite plays. And let me just tell you, I don't, I don't think I've given an update yet on this, but <gasps> Macbeth. You know what? For someone who went into this Shakespeare course professing themselves not to be a great fan of Shakespeare, a large fan of Shakespeare, um, I, first of all, I'm slaying. I'm slaying. I'm slaying. It's probably the course I'm doing the best at actually right now. I've never read Hamlet and no, I've never read Macbeth. Before I've read this play all um, all at night, all when it's completely pitch black, and that is the way that is the way it should be read. Oh my goodness! Like I cannot tell you, five stars. It's already a five star. Um, I also got the ending of Macbeth spoiled for me today. Actually, I don't know how I've gone this whole lifetime so far without knowing how Macbeth ends, but the language. The absolute language. So I would really like to do my final essay on Hamlet and Macbeth, although I'm not sure if Macbeth really fits in with the exile. Maybe. I'm on act two, scene four currently. Um, I kind of want to finish Macbeth before I start writing the essay, but I think for sure I'm going to include Hamlet, some character from Hamlet. It could even be, hmm, it could even be Ophelia to an extent if I want to take that lens on it. Oh, comparing Ophelia and Lady Macbeth maybe doesn't seem super intuitive, but that could be interesting. King Lear is our last play on the course. I've already read King Lear two, two or three times. I don't know if I'm going to do a fourth reread of it because, like, yeah, it's probably my most reread Shakespeare play, but Lear is obviously kind of a good character for this question as well. But I really want to write on Macbeth. That's the thing. I really want to include Macbeth. So we shall see. Maybe by the end of the play, some more things will have happened that I can kind of make an argument for. But that's kind of the update. I think these are going to be the two five star. I think Macbeth, Hamlet, and probably King Lear are the five stars to come out of this course. 
um, and I've had a great time. So I'm not like a big fan of Shakespeare comedies, but the tragedies and the historical plays Yes, uh, I got a big appreciation for them. So I'm really glad I took this course. I'm gonna try to figure something out, figure out a topic now with my little loaf. My little pumpkin loaf. Good morning, everyone. I am currently just getting a little bit ready to go out. Today, I need to start three different papers. So I have a grocery haul I'm about to show you once I get it unpacked on the island. And it's also my birthday weekend. My birthday's on Monday. I uh, don't have any huge plans. Yesterday, I did sort out my sources for my Shakespeare essay, which was so- can I just say how easy it is to find secondary sources for a Shakespeare paper because everyone and their brother and sister has written on Shakespeare uh, academically or whatever. It's so easy to find what I'm looking for and then I did end up placing two holds at my local library to pick up because it's just easier for me to read on paper than on a screen and I like having the book in front of me anyway. Um, and those were two other pieces of theory not related to Shakespeare. One is like Chris Deva and the other one was Mary Douglas. Yesterday night, I just went to the gym. Didn't have a very good run. I just went running. It was not really a good session. And then I came back showered and did some reading before bed. Okay, so here is the grocery haul. It's a bigger one because I just got home and we were out of like everything, but um, just really quickly take you through it. This is the one we use most often. And then we got one extra firm. Are you trying to go in the bag? Go on. Do you want to go in the bag? There you go. Okay. Um, roasted garlic hummus. And then I got some pumpkin pie filling because my boyfriend has agreed to make me a maple pumpkin pie for my birthday. It's my birthday weekend, so I love pumpkin pie. I try to always have pumpkin pie on my birthday. Um, and homemade is just so good. And then some grape tomatoes, soybean paste, um, a thing of strawberries. I, I like never buy strawberries, but they just looked so good. And oh, I thought they might be Canadian, but they're US strawberries. And cashews for the pumpkin pie as well. A couple Mr. Noodles, limes, lemons, black olives, a bunch of bananas, a new bag of onions. We were out of onions. And then I got a bunch of produce, so cucumber, broccoli, green onion, this is fresh, cilantro. Got some gochujang for the first time. I'm very excited to try that. Um, wait, are these here? Or did you get these out? Okay, this, these are just out, we didn't buy them. <laughs> Um, garlic, two avocados, just some chips for the hummus, and then arugula, spinach, Ritz. This is what I use in my sandwiches. I just, I love this so much. And then a, bo a bottle, a can of chickpeas. These are my favorite instant noodles. So good. A pack of udon, some mini sweet peppers, and then a big thing about milk and tortillas. So I think I'm going to put it all away, and then I'm going to pack up and head down to the lake. 